Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello and welcome, my friends. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about grazofilvin. Okay, this is actually the video lecture regarded with the antifungal drugs. And what we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about grazofilvin. Graziofilvin is actually it is an a heterogeneous compound. What actually it is? It is a heterogeneous compound. Heterogeneous compound or we can also say it is an antifungal drugs which are specially used to, to treat dermatophytic infection or ring form infection. So it is used against dermatophytic infection. Metophytic infection. Or we can say ring worm. Or ring worm. You know, this, uh, if you see, uh, this uh, means uh, grazofilvin is actually available in the market in a tablet form. And we usually take it by mouth. Okay, so we, so we take it by mouth and it's, it's usually present in the form of tablet form in the market. Okay. Grazofilvin not only used to treat the ringworm and uh, dermatophytic infection, it is also used to treat scalp you know scalp infection and we can say it is also used to to treat the infection of the nail as well now the drugs which are specially used in grazofil means the drugs which are available in the market and the name of these drugs which are related with the grazofil means these drugs are the fall we seen So these are the drugs which are specially used in the uh, graziofilvin and these are the drugs which are available in the market by these names. Okay, now how these drugs will be look like and w uh, what are the structure of these drugs? So if we see the structure of these drugs, so it will be look like in this form. Okay, so this is the structure of the grazofilvin. So grazofilvin will be look like in this form. Now, what are the mechanism of action or mood of action of the grazofilvin? If we talked about the mood of action of the grazofilvin, first of all, you need to understand the uh, reproduction or we can say that how actually the fungi are reproduced. Okay, once you get the idea of the fungal cell reproduction, so then the mechanism of action will be very easy. Actually, if we still talk about the mechanism of action, the mechanism of action of this grazofilvin is that they can attack on the spindle fibers or we can say they can attack on the tabulins. Once they attack on the tabulins, so then the mitosis process will be not occur. So here I am not talking about the mitosis in a detail. Here I will just talk about that how actually the fungi in, uh, is produced or we can say how actually the fungi are divided inside the body or inside the environment. Okay, so inshallah I will make a separate video lecture on mitosis in uh, uh, inshallah very soon. So let's suppose this is a cell of the fungi. Inside the fungi cell, we have a nucleus portion, as all of you better know. Okay, and inside the nucleus, what we have, we have the DNA and all the genetic material are present. At that area, there are some molecules, as I draw with a red marker, elongated. Okay, these are what these are the micro tubules. These are what let me write in a short form micro tubules. Okay, 
What actually they do? In some books, they says that these microtubules are actually responsible to direct produce the spindle fibers. But in some books, they says that these microtubules, in some fungi, these microtubules are actually responsible to produce what? They are actually responsible to produce the centrioles. So let's suppose these blue ones represent the centrioles. These are what? These are the centrioles. So in some fungi, these microtubules are responsible to produce the centrioles. Okay, and some fungi, these microtubules are not responsible to produce the, uh, you know, uh, to produce the centrioles directly. But in some books, they say that they directly produce the spindle fibers. How? So well, let's suppose these microtubules are present and they are not responsible to produce the centrioles in some fungi. So what actually happen after that? They will replicate it. Means these microtubules will be replicated and these microtubules will be shifted to the opposite side of the cell. Okay, now this is the first one and this is the next microtubules. These both microtubules are actually after that they will produce a spindle fiber. But before the spindle fiber, let, let me tell you one important thing that inside the cell uh, that in the nucleus, what actually we have, we have the DNA and the DNA will be replicated and replicated and make what a chromosomes uh, or we can say it is a condensed form and they will arrange their structure by which they can make a chromosomes. So the chromosomes will be look like in this form. Let me draw here. So let's suppose this is the structure of the chromosome. So now this center part as you are watching this one part are what this one part are the centromere. And with the centromere there are some proteins connected we call that catenocores. Okay so what actually happen? This microtubules after that they will produce a spindle fiber as I am drawing. So in this form they will produce the spindle fiber. Okay, as you can watching. And these spindle fibers will attach to this catenocores. So now they will be attached to the catenocores. Once they attach to the catenocores, so what actually happen, this microtubules will pull the chromosomes at their direction and this one microtubules to pull the chromosome with the help of the micro, with the help of this spindle fibers in the upward direction. So both are pulling the spindle fibers in opposite direction by which the cell will be elongated and finally the cell will be divided into two forms. So the cell will be divided into two forms. So this is the cell. Okay, this is the fungal cell. It will be divided into two forms. Okay, so that's how it can produce. So that's how it can produce. Uh, so that's how the fungi are divided inside the environment or inside our body. Okay, so that's uh, all about the reproduction of the fungi. In some cases, these microtubules uh, are not produce the spindle fiber. First of all, they what actually they do? In some fungi, they do they directly produce the centrioles, and then the centrioles will produce the spindle fibers. Okay, so this is about the other things. As all of you better know that in a human body, the centrioles are actually responsible to produce the spindle fiber, and then they will do the mitosis process. But in this case, the microtubules will produce the spindle fibers. And the fungi also uh, means use the centrioles. But it is in some cases. So that's how the fungi is reproduced. Now, what are the main function of these grazophilins? Or let's, let's talk about the uh, mechanism of action of the grazophilin. This grazophilins will come and they will bind. If we see, this grazophilin will come and they will bind on this microtubules once they bind on the microtubules so, so then the spindle fibers are not produces so when the spindle fiber are not produces so then the mitosis is stopped okay so the mitosis process will be stopped so no more mitosis process has occurred so after that the cell will be not divided or we can say cell will be not elongated or the cell will be not growth so what we can say this drug is actually what? This drug is actually fungistatic in nature. Static in nature. Okay, so this drug is actually fungistatic in nature. Okay, so this drug, if we talked about again, so this drug is, is actually responsible to bind to this microtubules and stop the producing or prevent the microtubule to produce the spindle fibers. So that's how they can perform their mechanism of action. So if we see the broad spectrum or antifungal spectrum, 
एंटी फंगल स्पेक्ट्रम एंटी फंगल स्पेक्ट्रम सो इट विल बी एक्टिवेटेड अगेंस्ट एपिडर्मो फाइट्रोन एपी डर्मो फाइटोन ट्राइको फाइटोन माइक्रोस्पोरम ओके सो दिस इज द एंटी फंगल स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ वर्ड ग्रेजियो फ्यूलविंस so that's all about the grazofilwins inshallah in the next video we are going to talk about the resistance which are activated against the grazofilwin okay so please stay tuned and continue to watch the video thank you